Barclay. I'm with Piano Clubhouse, and today we are going to learn the song Love and Marriage. It was originally recorded uh, by Frank Sinatra then in the 50s, and uh, gained recent notoriety, if you will, for the uh, theme song for Married with Children, um, sitcom uh, during the 90s, if you will. And uh, so let's just get started. Frank did his in the key of B flat. Uh, but we're going to do ours in the key of C. So the key of C is this. C, B, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, let me show you part of the melody, and then we'll go back and add some um, rhythm and color tones, if you will. So... Okay, so that right there is C, G, G sharp, A, and then B, G, G sharp, A. Okay, next part. Okay, C, B, C, D, E, G, F, C, C sharp, D. Okay, next part. two-beat quirky jazz type feel so it's going to have that triplet um, you know lazy aspect if you will in, in the traditional jazz sense okay so um, let's just kind of add some other aspects to it it's a C chord that starts off with so I'll be using C E and G so I'm just going to be basically talking back and forth between C and then the E and the G one two three four the next measure is a G one two so G, and then D and G up on the top. One, two, three, four, and then back to the C. Three, four. Okay, so we put the uh, melody with it. And notice I'm adding the C to the whole thing as I, and then also E on that one when you go up to that, to the G melody note. And then whenever you hit the G sharp, I'm putting the C with it as well to help, again, fill it up. Again, this right here is G tonalities. So if you want to keep that B as you're doing the melody G up there, and then the G sharp, and then A. One. Sorry. Okay, and then back to this. And here's where it's going to be a little bit tricky. One. Okay, see that? One, two, a three, a four, a. And the fingering. That's usually what works best. That way you set yourself up for the F and the C up on the top. Uh, so I'm starting with uh, index, excuse me, index finger, which is two. So two, one, two, all the way to three, and then I'm tucking under so that the thumb is on the E and the three is on the G. Now if you do it the, the other way. Um, like that, we're using all the fingers, and then you literally pick up and do the F. You can do it that way. Just realize you're going to have a break in the phrase. So we're trying to keep the, the phrase happening melodically, and there's no breaks. Okay, and then now F. Okay, then that part right there was an F minor with a sharp 5. Okay, so this is F, C, and F. And this was just regular F to start with. One, two, so that was F, A, and C, and C in the melody note. One, two, and then here's the F minor with the sharp five. So F, A flat, C sharp, back to a C. Again, I'm just toggling back and forth between C and then the E and the D. One, two, three. Come off of this, um, you know, kind of hard staccato, and I used G, C, and E. That right there is an E 
triad, so and do an E's in the bass, B, E, G sharp, one, two, three, to an F, one, two, three, four. So notice how I'm just doing the toggling, you know, octaves, if you will, with the F's, and then the C, F, and A, three, four, and, so on the end, that's where you've got the, the B in the melody notes, one, two, back and forth between the C and the G flat, where you have an A melody note and then an E flat, so that's the E flat's part of the diminished. And then it goes back to a C at that point, so C, E, and G, three, four, and four, right? Now this is a G, excuse me, a D first. So D's, octave D's, D up the top, and then you're striking this on two, which is F sharp and A. you could do is do the D here without having to go all the way down there. Okay, now it goes back and repeats it again basically, so let me just kind of play through it slowly. to a G instead of the D. Okay, so G's, G's. 